Hey guys, it's Wednesday again, so I'm back with another illustration. And, you know, big surprise, it's more Steven Universe fan art. <laughs> um, this time I've drawn my favorite fusion, which is Opal. Opal is so beautiful, and I love the first episode where Pearl and Amethyst fused to make her. Like, Giant Woman is probably one of my favorite songs, not just on the show, but in general. And it kind of irks me that we don't see very much of Opal, although... I understand since like Pearl and Amethyst don't need to fuse all the time but um, anyways so excuse me here while I go on a bit of a rant <laughs> uh, about Opal um, so Pearl and Amethyst are opposites like so both equally wonderful and awesome as a team but opposites Amethyst is loud uncalculating kind of obnoxious short brave but like funny and carefree whereas Pearl is more soft-spoken, calm, very collected, uh, tall and slender, cautious, and like kind of harsh a little bit. So um, Opal, who is a fusion of these two characters, is a representation of those two parts working together in a single person. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but haven't any of you guys ever felt like, like your two personalities almost, or like, like, I don't know, just just two different people or something on the inside it's like to me opal is very representative of my own emotional differences or imbalances i guess working together to be me who is a happy functional person most of the time so <clears throat> yeah i i love opal and everything that i made up that she stands for <laughs> um also, her colors and her weapon and her design are all drop-dead gorgeous, and who doesn't love a giant woman? Um, <laughs> I, had, I had so much fun drawing this one. Like, it just made me smile the entire time, and this is a piece that I can go back to time and time again and be happy with, which that's not the case for a lot of my art. And I don't even know that it's, like, one of my best pieces of art, but I'm so in love with the colors and with Opal that it just doesn't matter. This is my favorite thing I've ever drawn. Like, even right now, I'm smiling about it. It's kind of stupid. So, um, all right. So, I guess about the art itself, because I need to kind of stop blowing my own horn or whatever, to my own horn. Uh, it's, the art's pretty simple. Like, since Steven Universe has a lot of very rich but very simple backgrounds. Um, so, yeah, it's simple. So, while Sardonyx is very bright and showy. Opal has much softer, more pastel colors and feelings. Um, so I wanted to do a very pretty but simple background um, because I'm trying to make pretty much the entire illustration um, in these series about the characters and not as much the background, although there is some there. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, some of my favorite scenes in Steven Universe are the cliffs at the, and the beach at like sunset because the reds and the pinks and the yellows are just so beautiful. They look like blush. It's just rich, soft, pretty colors. Um, Adventure Time does this too with the backgrounds. Like both shows have a fairly simple art style, but it's so beautiful to me. Like it's just amazing. Like how do you guys feel about these shows if you've seen them? Like do you like the style or do you wish it was more detailed? Um, I personally just love it the way it is, and I think that a simple art style, if done well and, you know, using the colors right, can be just as amazing, if not more so, than something that's super detailed, like maybe like an anime or Miyazaki. And I love Miyazaki, so that's, uh, that's a high bit of praise if you're listening, Cartoon Network. Um, so, um, let's see, back to the art here. I used a lot of reds for the background. Uh, which was kind of weird for me. Doing such a heavily saturated background was really odd compared to Opal's soft pastel palette. Um, also, I just don't typically color super heavy like this with reds and pinks, so that was another reason it felt funky. Just like these big open areas of solid color. Um, anyway, it, I didn't want too much background detail though, so it, it kind of worked out alright, and it was good practice to get out of my comfort zone and I encourage that with you guys too. Like, try drawing and coloring a different style. It's really good for you. Um, and maybe you'll learn that you like coloring that way. So anyway, I added some little... I couldn't leave it too simple, I guess. So I added some little white uh, grass shoots and plants and stuff to kind of add some texture. Like, after the video. You don't see it in the video, but you do see it in the end picture. Um, 
and Opal's uh, her arrows, not her bow, but her arrows are like light, I think. So they, or at least they give off a lot of light. So I kind of thought it fit. Um, I guess there is one thing that I don't really know if I like with this drawing, and it's Opal's hair. I had a really difficult time trying to experiment because her hair is um, kind of whitish. It's like kind of a very light cream color, but I wanted to add some shadows and texture to her hair because in the show it's very, it's black colors. Um, so I decided to shade with a light lavender color, just like a light purple. And it looks nice, but I'm not sure if it blends with the yellow, kind of the yellowy color of her hair very well. So learning experience, I guess. Um, I guess that's, yeah. oh, well, I guess the background, like there's, so there's kind of some weird shapes in the background, um, which we're, oh, we're there yet, but uh, like, I don't know, they do a lot of really neat shapes and stuff in this show with the water and the sky and so that's not my art style but I wanted to add it in there just to kind of break up the flat openness of the, the background so um, there's like some weird arches that are kind of like clouds and then um, again I don't do it in the video but afterwards there's like these little good and plenty <laughs> um, pill shaped things in the sky so I don't know I kind of like that I think it helps round out the picture. So that is it about the art. That's all I have to say. Um, how was everybody's weekend? My husband and I went down to Oregon with our dogs uh, to visit our family and hang out at the beach and stuff. Um, it's really nice to go home to be with family as an adult. Like my my parents are really awesome, and I don't know that you can always appreciate that when you're a teenager or a kid. Um, so. It's nice to be able to hang out and talk and be kind of equals, although I still see them as mom and dad, you know? Um, but anyways, like our dogs just love going down there and they love going to the beach uh, and playing in the water and stuff and running around. And uh, yeah, so it's nice. Max, uh, our red border collie, he's gonna be a year in August. He really likes the water and playing in the waves and stuff, but Oswin, she's our uh, one and a half year old blue healer thing uh she hates loud noises well at least ones that she's not making so and she makes a lot of noise so i don't really think it's fair but i guess that's children um oh i do have a question so uh i'm pretty broke uh or cheap maybe both uh anyway i don't like to pay very much for things that i don't think are fun um my point though i am using I don't even want to say it because of how embarrassing it is. I'm using uh, Windows Movie Maker, which is no longer a supported program. And even aside from that, I can't do any editing that isn't just like speeding up the clip or adding music over it. Um, and it's pretty terrible. So I know that some people use Premiere Pro, like uh, Art by Karen e. Haley. She's like a longtime friend and stuff. So I know she uses that. Uh, and it looks like an amazing program, but I don't have 20 bucks a month to spend or more uh, or like $500 or however much to pay outright for that kind of software. So my question is this, uh, what kind of software do you guys use to edit your videos? I'm willing to pay some money, like a, a couple hundred bucks, but I'm not willing to pirate, so that's off the table. Um, anyways, leave your answers in the comments. Um, okay, so we're near the end of the video here and I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, you guys are just so awesome. Thank you so much for the new likes, views, subscriptions, everything. It makes me so happy to be bringing weekly content to you guys and to share my stuff with you. Like, I always thought it'd be so hard to do a weekly video, and so I just didn't even try just because the stress, you know, prevented me from even trying to do it. But it's so much nicer, and just doing one weekly video is fine. Um, I may in the future do, like, weekly and then do a bi-weekly video, you know, like every other week um, of something else. So if you guys have suggestions of other things you'd like to see, I may be able to get to it. So yeah, uh, if you want to see more sketches or just better views of finished finished pieces, you can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Um, username is also Aaron Derek Art. So don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe, um, or share is also good. If you guys have suggestions for art you'd like to see, hit me up on Instagram um, to see it as a sketch where I'll give you a shout out for the suggestion. So maybe some more views, I don't know. Uh, it may even make it into a video once I'm done with this Steven Universe series, which will be soon. Um, I'm you know, constantly editing videos as I'm like delivering these to you guys. So anyways, um, yeah. All right guys, 
Have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next Wednesday. Bye.